As you can see behind me here, they've made good progress on the pipe work up here and they've bored those holes out of the side of my house for the pipes, the flow and return pipes to and from the heat pump. And we've got the new appliances in here. Meanwhile, the electrician got to work on the rabbit's nest of wires in there and make a start on all the electrical wiring up here, as well as finishing off the connection to the isolator switch there, which had to be uh, adhered with CT1 to the wall there, as well as raw plugs because of the external foam insulation on my house, making it a little bit difficult to fix things there, but no problem, got around that. Just before 2 p.m. I got a call from the metering engineer to let me know he was about 45 minutes away and it was quite amusing. He had to double check with me that I definitely understood that removing the gas meter altogether would mean that there's no more gas to the property. So if I've got a, a, a gas hob or a gas fire in the living room, that wouldn't work. He prefaced that by saying, you know, I know that's an obvious question, but I have to ask type thing, which I thought was quite funny. So they must have lots of people not realizing that if you have no gas to the property, that will also mean your gas hob won't work. Uh, but yeah, he turned up, completely removed the gas meter, which was about a five, 10 minute job. So now we have absolutely no gas supplies to the property and we're not paying that uh, standing charge each day for, for, for no use. Although I worked out that uh, there's about a 99p difference in how much I'll be saving a year and how much the, uh, the servicing cost on the heat pump will cost each year in order to maintain the eight year warranty. So I think I'm saving 99p a year on that. So that's good news. My gas boiler was then removed and uh, as you can see, it's gone from behind me and then they almost finished getting all of the other piping work done. That should be finished tomorrow. And they've left me with a hot water tank full of water, but I will only have that for tonight. So uh, I might have to smell a bit. Uh, I'll let my wife and daughter uh, have priority on the showers in the morning. My immersion heater has been disconnected and the new one hasn't yet been connected up. And of course, we've also got no central heating tonight, but fortunately we're doing this during a mini heat wave. 